That's a very good engage on Talon. Does he die for this? He actually died. Oh, goodness. That's so good for us. And yeah, Vagar told me he would be poking a lot in lane. Which is why I'm also going for the poke build in this game. So we can double down on that strategy. Vagar. Come to lane. So yeah, I'm going for, for the full uh, poke build. Playing on the main account. Currently Diamond 3. Uh, Vagar will miss some experience here. I'm against Karma Ezreal by myself for now. Right? Or maybe they're... Okay, no, they're both here, so... They should be fine in the jungle. I just focus on CS. And in case you want to... If you take climbing seriously, you can book very high-quality League of Legends coaching sessions with my sponsor in the description. Just a quick shout-out. And we... Definitely focus now on the on the last hits because Karma is roaming as well, so might as well um, embrace the solo lane island. <laughs> we could look for some poke if you really wanted to, but at the same time, right now it's I don't I don't want to overcommit really. And against Ezreal, it's very easy to just get lured into his Q, and he can just stay very far back, avoid your Q bounces by just staying out of range altogether. So yeah, I'm I'm playing it slow for sure. Okay. Go to max Q first. So now... Now Karma is here too. Karma is probably the juicier poke target. Okay, she avoided that. But yeah, so far I don't think I've missed farm. Which is a good sign. aggressive <laughs> to say the least yeah he can base it's fine I can stand my ground here even without gathering storm and stuff this build scales decently well so I'm not too afraid of the late game you need to be running circles around talent in the late game anyway so um, we're most likely just bait <laughs> try to waste talent's time Run around with Boots of Swiftness. Play around ultimates. That's more like the deal. Also, we have get Black Cleaver in this build, which is very helpful. Due to all the HP it gives. Karma hit level Get him. Get him. That's very nice. Perfect. Okay. Clear the wave. Just get it under tower. That's definitely best. That was a very good gank, by the way. Needless to say. I mean, you see the res results. And this is clean the under tower. Nothing to be done here. We just recall. We get our tier of the goddess and now we can really start putting on the pressure because we get the or we um we can spam well not not spam but we can cast our e very frequently go for e auto e auto q e into q bounce all the good stuff all right full serrated duck too so our q's will start to hurt yeah in the late game you still scale like crazy with hubris plus man immune you don't really need or end with Dark House, of course. You don't really need Gathering Storm and stuff. All the early game pressure is much better with the poke support. But now it was kind of a weird game. <laughs> with the level 1 especially. So we didn't really play the traditional lane phase. Yeah, E into Q bounce, very easy to hit. Massive crit too. By body blocking the Ezreal Qs, I literally saved his life. <laughs> but now I'm so low myself.
All right, all right, what a gift. <laughs> Good old greed. Even mid-diamond players make mistakes like that. It's kind of crazy. Are we free to push this, or is it too dangerous? Well, we have the mana. Vega has the mana. Nice. Good zoning. Good control. Just let him be. It's not worth it. Karma can hold this, but it's it's completely okay. We got so much mileage here. Um, full boots are kind of nice. But I guess double longsword into tier 1 boots is a little better. More combat stats. And yeah, I mean, after this blowout <laughs> in the bot lane... Ezreal is too far behind, I assume. We can have a very easy lane now. Playing this very well so far. I really like our synergy here. Alright. Wave clear, it now meets in the middle, which means we can just start poking. Or maybe Xin Zhao flank is undetected, we'll see. They don't move like they've seen him. Yeah, I mean, it's control worded, what am I saying? Wasted my ults, but a kill is a kill. So I'm not complaining. Massive. <laughs> it looked like flame pings though, I'm not sure why my team are flaming if they are. Doesn't make sense, we're doing so well. Uh, let's not greet for the play team. Let's just let's just run. Never mind. I get the play team and we get the kill and my heal saves Vagar. How crazy are we? We're completely schooling them. We're absolutely styling here. <laughs> no synergy. It is a real full hubris on deck. Very happy now I've not upgraded boots, because then I would not be able to afford the full hubris. But now we're so strong. 4-0-3. Oh, Look at this beauty. What are you doing? Come on, Fizz. Uh, I, I don't care, let's just mute all. Just the Fizz. The rest of the team are fine, I think. Gotta wait until the wave resets, of course. Took some damage there, but well played by them. Vega roamings, so I ward this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't wanna be in don't wanna get in trouble. Vega actually just entered. <laughs> Unfortunate. I'll ult this to keep it safe. Or do I have to? Nope. Or maybe I do. We'll see. Sure, tank the tower, my friends. <clears throat> it's still a rather rough 1v2. I would have liked my Vega to return and not, you know. Abandon me. Hmm. Maybe assist ping gets the message across, but I think I just suffer here. The 1v2.
I'll just play for experience. Yeah. I lose farm, I lose playthings. I can't do anything. And Vega is dead again. Man, that's such a waste. We're still fed bot lane and they lose all our pressure. Still, all I can do is play for experience. Not getting the cannon, but it, I mean, Vegas can't be choosers. Okay, he's finally back. Yeah, I actually lost a lot for this. Not gonna work. But now they're both forced back, so we can at least push in the wave. Yeah, I get some of the platings back at least. I might ER the next wave too. Okay, we still get it. Too greedy, too greedy. I should have... I mean, using ult there essentially does nothing against Talon. When it's on top of you, you can easily walk wherever he needs to to avoid it. Oh no, what an int. Okay, maybe he lives. Looks like he lives. It's not the biggest problem, okay. But still. <laughs> I misplayed plus a uh, Vega misplayed by roaming. Alright, that's bad. Alright, at least I get a kill there. Push in the wave, try to punish. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I didn't watch the map. I'm just dead here. That's my bad. I was so focused on pushing, it's, uh, that, was, that was just bad. Poorly played. Um, no, upgrading Trinket doesn't make sense. I do not want to do that. Top lane is a problem. It, it looked like such a nice game at first, but then Vagar started running it down, and now top lane's running it down too. Hmm. And now I'm inting as well. It's uh, not what you like to see here. This talent will be a huge problem. 31 on hubris. Brother, join me. Or don't, it's fine. Then we just give dragon, probably the safer bet. Let's see, maybe I'm there in time. Maybe I'm just dead. Yeah, it, it's pointless. We're just too hectic. We're trying to salvage this game. With very stupid means, or by very stupid means. That's too much. I should have just ER'd and walked out to kill Karma and save myself. But I thought we were stronger than this. And we clearly aren't. This Renekton's gonna s destroy him, right? Yep.
All right, there we go. Talent in our jungle. We cannot catch him, it's impossible. Wow, that was so bad of me. <sighs> I'm too greedy. I'm just tunnel visioning when there really is nothing to do, uh, nothing to be done. Yeah, this is a uh, nice little Duke fest, but at the end of the day, it just doesn't matter. He's 1 in 8 now, and our top lane is 1 in 10. Yeah, top lane support. 2 and 18 combined. This will make this game quite tough. But it's not unwinnable. We're definitely not ahead, but we're also not out of it. Well, we played a nice lane phase, but a nice lane phase is not enough to get the Cana minion <laughs> or to win the game. Anyway, mana immune, huge power spike. Talon on 10 kills. Whew. This will be a rough one. Uh, it already is a rough one, but this this will. I mean, I'm like the ending on 10 deaths as well. If Talon gets to keep scaling. Oh, nice aim. Actually hit me. Guess we just give up the tower or what? Huge crit. Okay. Mm, no one's coming, so this tower will fall. Pretty, pretty sure about that. Brother, what are you doing? Wow, he, he is dumb. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I take it. I'll take whatever I can at this point. The thing is, Ezreal can always escape your ultimates with his jump. So if he uses his jump aggressively, it's on cooldown and then he can't do nothing. <laughs> okay. Mana immune almost stacked. Drake and five, but I have to get some money spent here. I kind of value the extra health right now. The more difficult I can make it for them to one-shot me, the better. Alright, but I do have a stack mana immune. Let's see what we can do with that. Talon is on the prowl. I need to catch the midway. If we can't contest dragon ever it's n not happening all right jungler taking my farm not what I want to see let's just kill Renekton come on what are you doing There we go. We lose mid lane tower, but that's inevitable anyway. 
Guys, what are you doing? And why are you doing it? We just need to defend mid lane. Messing around and bots, killing Talon is nice and everything, but... Without a base, we're not gonna win. Hmm. Okay. I guess when Talon respawns, they... They get barren. Ah, clipped me. Get him. Come on. Alright, there we go. Every shutdown we can get is a step closer towards the comeback. There we go. Huge. I gotta run. That Renekton is kinda huge. Okay, he's not chasing me, so I can clearly uh, safely found this uh, clear this wave. A little bit more for my item. Almost got it. Alright, let's recall. Cleaver is a big power spec too. And from there we get more lifesteal. Or lifesteal to begin with, but two lifesteal items for the late game. Should keep us safe enough. Okay. Not worth. I need to join the team. I really hope we got red. Oh, okay, we got it. Oh, Talon. Top lane 2 and 14. <laughs> ah, kind of crazy. Still winnable, I believe. Drake and 50. Okay, Fizz rocking it. Baron is definitely a stretch. Just go Drake. Get Drake, come on. Come on, guys. We have to get this. But it is looking quite good now, all of a sudden. That feels legendary. <laughs> that was <laughs> actually close. Ah, oh, didn't respect the jump across the tower. I thought he was stuck, but of course he isn't.
Yeah, we should just disengage. It's not worth. Not worth dying for. We got the dragon, we need to reset. Okay, here we go. Talon doing his thing, but he looks dead. Yeah, Fizz is getting all the kills. That's nice. As long as he's alive, we're safe. Just play around Fizz. I still think Baron is too optimistic. It's only Talon who's down. Yes, he is their jungler and the most fed member, but still, we're behind in kills. It would be a... Uh, okay, let's, let's do it. If the team insists, I can try, but as soon as they approach, I will just leave. Guys, what are you doing? And as I said, the Baron call was complete trash. We're lucky if it only costs me a summoner. Now oh, they're going for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it might, co might cost us Baron. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. He still gets me, of course. But hey, it could be much worse. It really could be. Baron is... Um, okay, they got... Actually, I didn't realize they got Baron. Okay, it is actually a lot worse. <laughs> Man. Had they not greeted for the stupid Baron call, we would be completely fine now. But here we are. Struggling. In any case, I don't think we're hard losing. It's It's fine. As long as we don't overcommit like that again, everything is okay. And once I finish Shield Bow, also should be a lot safer. Get him. Yeah, I won't overcommit here. <sighs> if only we didn't give away Baron. Are you fine? But our mid lane tower sure isn't. Okay, huge. Fizz dead is a problem though. We need him. Oh god, I didn't see Renekton. I entered. I tried to help Xin Zhao, but... I, I, I think I lost the game here, right? They finish now. Yeah, it's, it's two versus three. They still have Baron. They have minions. They end, right? Uh, they at least take base towers. Okay, Phil spawns in five. They might not even... I'm a little... I'm a little... Too pessimistic, I guess. Too much of a drama queen, huh? But, um... Still, the fact I didn't see the Renekton there... 
cost us a lot. It might cost us dragon. Hmm. Man, I really need shield bow. Okay, three drakes for them. As long as it's not four, it's not even that bad. <clears throat> anyway, I got my shield bow. Super important. I need it for safety reasons. As you can imagine. <laughs> and last item, bloodthirst, and we're fine. Kind of a struggle, but definitely winnable. That was huge. That was absolutely huge. Renekton. Man. But still, they have no damage dealers left. We'll see why in the bot lane. I'll go there. There we go. Good enough for me. And here we could see the value of shield bow. It was kind of sketchy because I didn't have vision on him. But uh, he couldn't kill me fast enough. Maybe I can get the tower. Yeah, I definitely can. Only now are they respawning. Alright. Huge. We have map pressure again. So let's try to put that to use. <clears throat> alright, alright, alright. As long as they don't get Drake's Soul, everything's fine. Just gotta prevent that at all costs. Okay, big. <sighs> Unlucky. One for one. They might get Baron here. We'll see. Yeah, they're on it. I'll YOLO it. <laughs> and that actually kind of worked. Renekton. As long as I don't face check him, he can't really kill me. And if you take him down, they don't have Baron anymore, so that's fine. Come on, Zinjao, we can do it. Or maybe we can't. Okay, so they still have a Baron buff. That's not the end of the world. I got a farm for my full builds. Bloodthirst is another, like, 100 AD item. Due to its passive. Plus crit, plus lifesteal. Okay, got it. I have it in time for the dragon fight, that's very important. Yeah, it's 95 attack damage. Okay, I'm as strong as it gets. We'll see if it's enough.
It's not enough. I think we fought without fears. Good lord. Yeah, the Renekton got fed early on and it really shows. He's also full build and we couldn't lock him down. None of our team bought healing reduction, which is a big mistake and I cannot fit it in this build. So it looks like we ultimately still lose. Come on. Actually, we don't lose. Vagar plus Fizz can defend this. They get that final soul though. Yeah, against Infernal Soul, we have a problem. I'm not sure how we're gonna beat that. Probably catch someone with Vagar Cage and then follow up with Ultimates. <sighs> we'll see, we'll see. First of all, let's not get caught. Wait for the minions to come. I'm not last hitting them anymore. Yone needs the farm. He's not full built. Uh, yeah. The Infernal Soul. Too much. Too much damage. Just defend. There's nothing to gain by pushing. We just need to wait on stall until Fizz respawns. Literally all we have to do here. Stall for Fizz. <clears throat> There's nothing on the map. Baron in two minutes. We have plenty of time. Let Vagar scale. Let the people last it who need it. Oh god. Worth. I did what I could, now it's uh, all on them. Come on. Come on, please tell me you got this. It's just a karma. Okay, it's a clean ace. Come on, finish. Do we have a wave? We almost do. We have 30 seconds. Okay, that's a, <laughs> that's a math problem and I don't know the answer. Sinjao looks tanky enough. But not for this one, we need the... That's not gonna work, brother. That's not gonna work. Yeah, we can't finish. It's 10 seconds. It's 10 seconds, yes. Yeah, okay, they're going for it. Be quick, my friends. That's... that's not gonna work. Run. They didn't dodge the Ezreal ulti. So I guess we lose another Baron. Yeah, there's no point even going towards Baron. We just die and lose the game on the spot. Just don't. Don't contest. Wait for Fears and Zinjao. That's. That's the best bet, but I'm not, that ult was, or cage plus ult combo was like a once in a lifetime happening. I'm pretty sure they're gonna take care about this, and or take care to not walk into that the next fight. How did Yone die? That's actually a problem now. There's spawning. For what it's worth. That's aggressive.
They're dumb. They're ultra dumb. Why do they approach me like this? They can't one-shot me through Cleaver and Black... Or what is it? Not Black Shield. Uh, shield Bow. And I just sit there and press R under my Nexus Towers. What are they going to do? Life's still back to full, easily. Dude, did they just... Did they really throw like that? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. GG. What a game. Anyway, for more content, if you want to follow the climb, click subscribe, and for more content, click the link on your screen.